start off with opening remarks, and Mr. Moses drew number one. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm Jason Moses, uh, District 1 School Board candidate. Uh, I'm a lieutenant firefighter full time. I work 24 hour shifts. I'm on red shift. I'm a lieutenant. I've been there 11 years. Uh, prior to that, I was with Chattanooga Police Department. I did a transfer from the police department to the fire department. Seems like everybody likes uh, firemen uh, a lot better than I do policemen. Uh, a lot less stressful job. Uh, the policemen got a lot tougher job. Uh, here's my family right here. I've got uh, my wife, Jill, uh, my son, Jason Jax. Jax goes, he's going to go to the new school, uh, Fallen Water. Uh, I'm sorry, he came from Fallen Water. Going to uh, Middle, Valley. Middle Valley Elementary, and uh, my son Jace be going to Hickson Middle. That's where my uh, wife teaches at uh, Hickson uh, High School. Uh, I live in District One, but my uh, boys are zoned for District Three schools. Uh, those ones zoned for District Two. Uh, we partnership them in to District Three. Uh, I got a Stuart High Baptist Church. Uh, we won the S. Uh, we won the S curves going on. Cloverdale, I got the one in Cloverdale, and there's one in Slade Acre here. We sometimes attend that one also. Uh, I've, I've always had a passion uh, for schools and running for school board. And I uh, thought this time I've probably been, I've never been in politics before. I wanted to uh, go for it this time. And I said I can make a difference uh, for the children and teachers. Thank you. Dr. Skate? Good evening. Thank you to Unified Ed for putting this on. Uh, I am Patty Skates. I have been in Hamilton County. I've been back uh, 44 years. I have spent 24, almost 24 years in the classroom in Hamilton County. Then I went into Georgia and taught three years, and now I work for Georgia Northwestern Technical College, which is um, working with dual enrollment kids taking uh, college classes in the high school. Uh, in fact, I have about 900 that I work with. Georgia Northwestern has the most in the state of Georgia. I'm running for school board district one. Why? Because I have a passion. I have been in the classroom. I have worked with students. I didn't have the AP or the dual enrollment students. I had regular students. Uh, at one time it was said that 10 or 15% of the students didn't want to be there. We just need to cut them loose. That was the students I had. We don't cut them loose. I have been, uh, something was said about me being part of the union. Yes, I belong to HCEA and I belong to TEA. Just like doctors belong to their group, nurses belong to a group, CPAs belong to a group, I belong to the teachers group to make better opportunities for teachers in the classroom. That's what it's all about. I've also been accused of being beholding. Yes, I'm beholding. I'm beholding to you, you the taxpayers. I'm beholding to the teachers, to the students, to the community. We are at a crossroads right now. That if we don't do something with our education system, we're gonna have problems. And here's the opportunity. Going around in District 1, people are saying they wanna change. I hope that I can bring that change, have the opportunity. I'm also vice mayor of Saudi Daisy. We work with a budget. Being a member on the Saudi Daisy Commission is a lot like being on the school board. Policy procedures, set a budget, hire the city manager or superintendent, depending on which one you're on. That's what we will be doing coming up after the August election. We need to bring someone that is going to directly lead this community to be better than what it has been. Thank you. Okay, at first I want to thank you to Five Ed as well for putting this on. I want to thank all of you for coming, spending your night here with us to find more about our education in uh, District 1. Uh, most of you know me. Uh, you know that I'm not here to dazzle you with my brilliance. And I'm also not here to baffle you with a bunch of bull. I'm here to shoot you straight. I'll tell you the facts. Um, that's just the way that I am. I've been a District 1 school board representative to, since 2004, so I bring experience and institutional knowledge to this campaign. I do not have ties to any special interest group, none. I'm only interested in what is best for our kids and our community. I am just like you. I go to work, 
and I pay taxes. I've never had a paid day off in my life. When I don't work, I don't get paid. So when I see my tax dollars being spent in an inefficient manner, it makes me mad and it should make you mad as well. That is why for the last 12 years I've worked to get zero based budgeting to find money to put back into the classroom. I've also tried in years past to get the HCDE check registry posted online so everyone can see where the money is being spent. While on the school board, I've worked hard to build relationships at the county, state, and school level. These relationships have allowed huge successes in District 1, such as the addition to Sell Creek Middle High, Sell Creek Middle High ball field, ball field improvements, the new Daisy Elementary entrance, Donations to Sequoia Vocational School. Those are just a few that have happened in just the last few months. Some of these projects have taken years to bring to fruition. The Daisy Elementary entrance has taken about 10 years. It's a, it's a half a million dollar project. I got the uh, numbers on it today. It's over 500 million, uh, five, I'm sorry, $500,000. It's half a million dollar project to get that done. And it took a, took a long time and a lot of people to be involved in that. There are many times when I've had to stand alone on the school board. As most of you know, a lot of times it was a one vote. I was usually the one vote. So when they talk about change, you know to get change, what you do is you, you change the people that are in the majority. You don't change the people that are in the minority. That's, that never, never has made sense to me. Uh, one of the times I had to stand alone was the times when I exposed the unlimited accrual of vacation days. Uh, uh, they were accruing on for the 10 and a half, 11, and 12 month employees. They had unlimited accrual of vacation days. We were spending out between $500,000 and a million dollars a year. And uh, we got that, that stopped. And the teachers union went along with that agreement with the administrators as well uh, to let them have that. I am, as, I am as conservative with your money as I am with mine. And I use a common sense approach to resolving problems. And I'm like, committed to continue working to move District 1 forward. Thank you for your time.